The power of diet, say goodbye to high blood pressure. Hello, fantastic viewers. Welcome back to our channel. I'm your name, and today's topic is a game changer. We're diving deep into the realm of health and wellness, exploring a revolutionary approach to bid farewell to high blood pressure. Are you ready to unlock the power of diet and transform your health? Well, you're in the right place. As we all know, high blood pressure is a widespread health concern affecting millions worldwide. But guess what? We're about to embark on a journey that challenges the conventional norms. Today, we're not just talking about medication. We're talking about a transformational approach to health through the lens of two groundbreaking minds in the field, Dr. William Davis and Dr. Nader Ali. Now, you might be wondering, can what I eat really impact my blood pressure? The answer is a resounding yes, and today, we're going to explore the compelling theories of these medical mavericks who believe in the extraordinary power of diet. So, buckle up, grab a notepad, because we're about to uncover the secrets that could change your life. But before we dive in, let me tell you, Dr. Davis and Dr. Ollie aren't your typical health gurus. They're challenging the status quo, questioning the reliance on medications, and presenting a fresh perspective. What they're saying might surprise you, but trust me, it's a revelation that could redefine the way we think about managing high blood pressure. Stick around because we're about to drop some knowledge bombs. So, whether you're dealing with high blood pressure yourself or just eager to learn how to enhance your overall well-being, this vlog is for you. Together, let's unlock the power of diet and say goodbye to high blood pressure. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get started on this transformative journey. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty details, let's take a moment to address the alarming reality of high blood pressure. Did you know that globally, over a billion people are living with this silent health menace? It's not just a statistic, it's a global health concern that demands our attention. In 2019, the global age standardized prevalence of hypertension in adults aged 30 to 79 years was 34% in men and 32% in women. It is the same in 2023 as hypertension affects one in three adults worldwide. About four out of every five people with hypertension are not adequately treated. In USA only, nearly half of adults have hypertension, whereas in Canada one of the lowest 25% of adults are hypertensive. The irony is that many people don't know about this menace. If we look at these numbers it's staggering. High blood pressure isn't just a problem, it's an epidemic. But here's the thing, we're not here to dwell on the problem. We're here to explore solutions, and that begins with understanding the root cause. Think about it. What if we could make changes in our daily lives that not only alleviate the symptoms, but also address the very factors that contribute to high blood pressure? That's the mindset shift we're advocating for Todaya shift from mere symptom management to tackling the root cause. And now, enter to pioneers in the field of cardiology, William Davis and Dr. Nader Ali. These medical visionaries are challenging the traditional narrative, advocating for a revolutionary approach to high blood pressure. It's not just about prescribing medications, it's about redefining our relationship with food and lifestyle. Get ready to be inspired, because what you're about to hear goes beyond the conventional wisdom. Dr. Davis and Dr. Ali are urging us to rethink our approach to high blood pressure. Are you curious? You should be. Stick around as we uncover the secrets they believe can transform our health. This is not just a vlog, it's a journey to a healthier, happier you. Dr. Davis's theories revolve around a fundamental idea. The modern diet is not our friend when it comes to blood pressure. He argues that our shift towards processed foods and grains is a major contributor to the rise in hypertension. It's not just about what we eat, it's about what we've allowed into our daily lives. It's eye-opening. Dr. Davis believes that our reliance on processed foods and grains has led us down a path of increased inflammation and compromised cardiovascular health. But here's the exciting part. He's not just pointing out the problem, he's presenting a solution. One of Dr. Davis's key recommendations for lowering blood pressure involves a revolutionary dietary shift. He advocates for the elimination of processed foods and grains from our plates. It's not about deprivation. 
It's about reclaiming our health by making informed choices about what we fuel our bodies with. I know this might sound too good to be true, but the evidence speaks for itself. Dr. Davis's approach has not only transformed theories, but lives as well. People who've embraced this shift in their diets have experienced remarkable improvements in their blood pressure levels. Real people, real results. Many success stories are a testament to the transformative power of Dr. Davis's approach. But hey, it's not just anecdotal. There's solid research backing up these claims, reinforcing the validity of this dietary paradigm shift. Stick around because we're not done yet. Next up, we'll explore Dr. Nader Ali's unique insights into high blood pressure. This journey just keeps getting more exciting. You might be wondering, does this really work? The answer is a resounding yes. Dr. Ollie's approach is supported by compelling case studies and evidence. People who've embraced this low-carb, high-fat lifestyle have witnessed remarkable improvements in their blood pressure readings. I and many of my friends have benefited from these lifestyle changes. That is why I have embarked on this journey to help the humanity to fight this menace effectively. The low-carb, high-fat lifestyle isn't just a trend. It's a science-backed strategy for a healthier tomorrow. Details about the Energetic Cato Diet Guide can be viewed at healthierhtips.blogspot.com. However, very soon I will upload the diet guide in the context of diet versus medication. Stick around because, further in the lecture, we'll delve into the ongoing debate of diet versus medication. Now that we've explored the transformative diets proposed by Dr. William Davis and Dr. Nader Ali, it's time to touch the significant part the ongoing debate between diet and medication in the realm of high blood pressure. Get ready because this is where the plot thickens. Before we unravel the arguments, I want to hear from you, our incredible viewers. What are your thoughts on this debate? Have you tried dietary changes, medications, or perhaps both? Share your experiences and insights in the comments below. Let's make this a conversation. Let's take a closer look at the two sides of the coin. On one side, we have the conventional Apruach Medican. It's quick, it's accessible, and for many, it's a lifeline. On the other side, we have the progressive approach dietary changes. It's natural, it's sustainable, but it requires commitment. Let's break it down. Medication, no doubt, has been a cornerstone in managing high blood pressure. It provides a swift solution, bringing those numbers down efficiently. However, it often raises questions about long-term reliance, potential side effects, and the essential question of whether we are truly addressing the root cause. On one hand, medications offer quick relief, but on the other hand, we need to ask ourselves, are we merely managing symptoms? Or are we actively working towards a healthier, more sustainable lifestyle? A vlog on dietary changes is in the pipeline. As we navigate this debate, it's crucial to recognize that both medication and dietary changes have their merits. The sweet spot lies in a balanced, comprehensive approach. What if we could combine the quick relief of medications with the long-term benefits of a heart-healthy diet? I challenge you, our valued viewers, to consider a middle ground a synergy of the best of both worlds. Let's explore a path that not only manages high blood pressure effectively, but also sets the stage for a vibrant and healthy life. Are you up for the challenge? Share your thoughts below in comments. As we've explored the theories and debated the nuances of diet versus medication, it's time for the exciting part, the actionable steps you can take to lower your blood pressure through diet. Get ready to embark on a journey towards a healthier you. First things first, let's break down some practical tips based on the wisdom of Dr. William Davis and Dr. Nader Ali. These are simple yet powerful changes you can incorporate into your daily routine. Eliminate processed foods and grains. Dr. Davis advocates for removing processed foods and grains. Swap out those refined carbs for whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. Embrace healthy fats. Take a page from Dr. Ollie's book and incorporate healthy fats into your diet. Avocados, nuts, olive oil are not just delicious. They're your allies in the fight against high blood pressure. Reduce salt intake, moderation is key. Be mindful of your salt intake, as excessive sodium can contribute to elevated blood pressure. Explore herbs and spices for flavor instead, 
Increase potassium rich foods. Potassium helps balance sodium levels. Bananas, oranges, leafy greens, and sweet potatoes are excellent sources. Monitor alcohol consumption, limit alcohol intake, as excessive drinking can raise blood pressure. Moderation is key to a heart-healthy lifestyle. Breakfast, Greek yogurt with berries and a sprinkle of chia seeds, whole grain toast with avocado. Lunch, grilled chicken or tofu salad with a variety of colorful veggies, quinoa or brown rice as a side. Snack, handful of mixed nuts, sliced apple with almond butter, dinner, baked salmon or a plant-based protein, steamed broccoli, asparagus, and sweet potatoes. Remember, it's not about a drastic overhaul. It's about making sustainable changes that align with your lifestyle. Start small, focus on one change at a time, and build from there. Consistency is the key to long-term success. Whether you're just starting your journey or looking to enhance your existing habits, these practical steps are your roadmap to lower blood pressure through diet. And hey, you're not alone. We're here to support each other. Share your favorite heart-healthy recipes or tips in the comments below and let's inspire one another. As we wrap up this discussion, keep in mind that these changes aren't just about numbers on a blood pressure monitor. They're about reclaiming your health and well-being. And there you have it, wonderful viewers. We've covered a lot today, exploring the revolutionary approaches of Dr. William Davis and Dr. Nader Ali in the quest to say goodbye to high blood pressure. We started by acknowledging the alarming prevalence of high blood pressure globally and highlighted the importance of addressing the root cause through lifestyle changes. Dr. Davis's insights into eliminating processed foods and grains and Dr. Ollie's emphasis on a low-carb, high-fat diet provided us with two powerful tools for our health arsenal. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. If you found value in this vlog, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. Together, Let's create a community of empowered individuals taking charge of their health. Here's to a future filled with vitality, well-being, and the transformative power of a healthy diet. Until next time, take care and stay well.